Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. You're back with Deck Deck, and for today's Daily Climb, we are the Watcher. We get to draft pick our own deck. There's time dilation involved, and deadly events. Burst all the way up there yet again. 1594. God damn it, Burst. You and your high scores. Rhapsody's in there 25th, so about 1500-ish. Well, 1520 to beat Rhapsody. Hmm... With time dilation, I do like the idea of the insights being added. So I'm going to take a prey. I think I'm going to take a wallop. Crescendo does fit nicely with that. Um, give me a foreign influence. I'll take some block. I don't really want either of these two, but I'm going to take the signature move. Give me an empty body. Ba -ba -do. A tranquility? Or should we just go for Wrath? Although I'm only going to be able to get one hop. Give me a Tranquility. Give me a Flurry of Blows. Give me a Prostrate. Give me a Talk to the Hand. We'd not taken a Halt yet, had we? No, I'll take a Halt then. Did we take an Evaluate yet? No, we didn't. Yeah, give me an Evaluate. <clears throat> I mean, I guess the Foresight could help if I could get a little bit more uh, scrying to go with the Third Eye. Even more block. Yeah, give me the Foresight. I'll actually take a Just Lucky in that case then. It's a bit of a weird deck. We've got extra, thing, uh, extra insights being made around. We've got cards that make cards. We've got a little bit of scrying going on. And block from that, potentially. So which way are we going? We can actually get three Elites. I'm going to come up this way, without really paying too much attention to it. Yos, 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 and Wallop. Now, Wallop is obviously going to be loads better with Wrath, but we'll see how we can do with it. Give me a Sever Soul. So I'm just going to empty body, and then I'm going to hit you like that. Anything that does a lot of damage should be quite useful for us. Flurry of Blows. Tranquility. Flurry of Blows. This is going to draw crescendo. Oh, alright then. That worked out quite well. Wave the hand with the talk to the hand could be good. Windmill Strike as well could be kind of good. We'd not taken a cut through fate, had we? Obviously not, because it's in alphabetical order. Let's get one of those for a little bit more scrying, then. It seems like we're going for a scrying run. Nunchaku is very nice. Come on. Lantern's also very nice. Makes that first turn even more powerful. Especially if we happen to be able to get a little bit of um, draw out of it as well. Let's go on you. I probably should have gone a little bit further there. I'm going to drop the signature move. I'm going to keep the wallet, then. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. I think I could have killed you if I'd have done time dilation a little bit smarter there. Um, that's slightly upsetting. I'm going to throw that out there. I'm going to hit you. I'm going to blow you up. Yeah. It's a shame to have had to use the potion there, but it's better than me keep hoarding potions like I do and never using them. I'll take a Consecrate. I should probably have checked before I took that, but I was fairly confident I'd not already got a Consecrate. You're going to be a pain in the backside, aren't you? So I am going to play the Wallop. Uh, yes. Well, we can play everything. I'll keep the rest of it. Hit you with one of them. Time Dilate one of them. And obviously, the more Time Dilation we get on the Wallop, the happier we're going to be. You're not attacking, so even better. Start with that, go with the inside. Can we make signature move work? If I can get this talk to the hand out of the way, yes I can. We did get the energy from Nunchaku there, but never mind. Weave is going to be dead useful here. Dead useful. In fact, it's that useful I may upgrade it straight away. Now, let's get Talk to the Hand upgraded. With swapping stances and scrying, we're going to keep getting both of those back, hopefully, and getting loads of block out of it. So, time dilation, time dilation. More time dilation. You give me a weave, so let's drop that and get it straight back. Cut through fate. I'll take the flurry of blows, please. 
Get the weave back again. Hit you, hit you, and hit you. That's a good first turn against this dude. Already half healthed him. Mm. Now playing skills becomes a little bit more tricky. Give me the fiend fire. 8, 16, 24... Nine, eighteen, twenty-seven, thirty-six. Bye. <clears throat> I just wanted to be sure that we we're going to do that. Anchor's very nice. Um, I like the idea of the perseverance. Swivel could be useful though, especially when you've got the um, wallop in hand. We could also even get a Ragnarok, I guess, and time dilate that up a little bit. Uh, let's go on the weave next, because that is going to keep coming back round. And if we've got higher damage out of it, we're going to get more out of our time dilation. We're going to have to go through this shop. I think it's probably going to be a good thing then. Do I go straight away? Because I could actually do a lot of damage here with the cons crescendo even. Now, I shouldn't have played the miracle. That was a silly play there. What are you going to give me? Perfected Strike does basically nothing. I think I'm going to hit you with this, but I'm not going to go this turn either. You know what, I'm going to play the Crescendo. We're going to pop off as soon as we can, which realistically has got to be this turn. Mm, I'm going to drink this, because time dilation, time dilation. Hit you with that. Hit you with the Wallop. Empty body back out and hit you again. Excuse me. Um... I'm not going to drop the weave. No, not going to drop the weave. Because I could... See, signature move isn't going to kill you. As much as time dilation is going to be nice. Go the prostrate. Drop the weave, give me the flurry of blows. Hey, this is working out quite nicely, actually. And that kills you and gives me enough block. That was beautiful. Dead beautiful. Not Omniscience. More insights? More time dilation? Yes, please. Um, I'm definitely buying that straight away. Now, I know Akabiko is not exactly brilliant with the style of build we're going. But it could be fun still. Just that extra bit of damage. Yeah, I'll take an Akabiko. Thank you. Uh, we're going left as much as I wanted to go right there and get the uh, campfire upgrade. We're not gonna. I'll play, I'll play, I'll play. You go all the way up to a massive 13 damage. You know, calipers would be dead nice as well. You're not attacking. Yes, you are attacking this turn. Okay. Um, yes, yes. I'm fairly sure we're going to kill you anyway. Tantrum. Play the third eye. I mean, whatever, really. Oh, you've actually got to... No, I've got to have played that before to make the scrying work. Stupid. I'll take a wheel kick. Even more draw. And it's quite a hefty damage card. Or can be a hefty damaging card. Uh, let's get talk to the hand straight out on this dude at the front here. I might as well play the tranquility straight away, hadn't I? Why not? We're not taking damage this turn. And if I can get you killed this turn... Uh, start with the time dilation. You know what? Give me the choke. Because I'm then going to go swivel. Choke on that dude. There is no time dilation. I'm a fool. But I'm thinking more I might be able to get two kills. I know I'm getting a little bit ambitious. Play the miracle. Flurry of Blows has done it. You god. Oh god. Itchy knee. Right, now you just need to behave in the middle this turn. <clears throat> Let's go with a Crescendo, because I can empty body and third eye out of this. Uh, Consecrate is going to get you if we go like that. We can go with a Wheel Kick and kill you with a Just Lucky. This is going very smoothly. Or a Calcum? I don't mind or a Calcum. Uh, I'm not that fussed about this Sash Whip. I'm concerned about how much health I've got on the boss that I just saw there. Uh, more time dilation, more time dilation. Probably should have played the Flurry of Blows before that, but never mind. 
Drop the weave, bring it back. Hit ya, hit ya, hit ya. Just lucky, bring the weave back. Oh my god, it is going dead well. You know what, I really like the idea of a tantrum. I do like my wrath. Mm, next upgrade. Foreign influence. Just so it costs zero, whatever we get. And then the time dilation effect is going to be even better for us. I mean, I could just tantrum straight away here. And you know what? I actually think I'm gonna. Even though playing the Flurry of Blows first would work, but that's loads of damage. Oh, Wallop for next turn would have been dead nice. But I'm gonna go like this instead. I was gonna say, please give me something dead powerful. You're gonna do nothing. The Tantrum's gonna be good. Drop the prostrate. Surely we can kill you this turn. Wow. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Don't look. Don't look at them. Um, I'm thinking maybe Black Star, just because we've got deadly events. Coffee Dripper, we've not really had a problem with energy at the minute. Astrolabe, I don't tend to take unless we've got uh, strikes and defense to get rid of. My goddamn knee needs to stop itching. Um, we can get a certain two elites, and we can get a few question marks leading up to that, and a rather late shop. So I think I'm going to start this way and go up here. Excuse me. Um, what are you giving me to start with? I'll go with Pummel. I'm thinking maybe coming in with the Wallop's going to help out as well. Go with the Foresight. Um, Pummel's going to be worth so. Bye. <laughs> Plated armor's probably the least useful there. Flying sleeves with Akabiko does work. I'm actually going to take the Fear No Evil there, though, for the stance dancing. Uh, yes, give me the special relic. I love the idea of having more strength turn one. That's going to be crucial on some fights, I guess. Uh, let's start with all the time dilation jazz again. I've got to go with Weave, unfortunately. Drop the Flurry of Blows. And yeah, we get Weave Bank. What do you give me? Meteor. <laughs> um, give me a Protect. A little bit more defense never hurt anybody, did it? Well, unless you've got Thorns. Oh, you guys are attacking. Uh, time dilate first. No point playing the Tranquility because we're about to go into Calm Stance anyway. Then we can play the Weave. Cut through Fate over there. Give me the Swivel. And obviously it brings Weave back. I can play the Swivel. We take no damage and our next card is free. Uh, definitely Wheel Kick. Well, actually. Time dilation. Time dilation. Uh, time dilation. Time dilate. I don't want to keep time dilating in case it doesn't get to the amount of damage we needed. It did get to the amount of damage we needed. Happy days. Let's go like that and that. For some reason, I don't know why, it feels like I'm playing just a little bit slower. But realistically, I'm probably not. Yeah, give me the Reach Heaven free. That is brilliant. Hit you with one of them. Flurry of Blows. Just lucky he's going to bring back uh, that one. Weave. There we go. Uh, wallop first into the Reach Heaven, and you're mega dead. <clears throat> already got Empty Body, already got Prey, don't need pressure points. Let's keep going through these question marks, hoping we can find elites. No, we can't. Just needed to double check that that was actually what I was uh, thinking of there. Ah, signature move's got to go the other way around. Drop the study heal. I'll take the prostrate. Yeah, leave the swivel in. Then I can hit you with a rather large signature move. This run does seem very powerful. Could I get you dead with what we've got there? Probably. Start with the prostrate for time dilation, then. Got you. Who are we against? Weakness would be nice for that dude. 
like water. We're not really ending in um, calm stance all the time. I'll take the empty fist for getting back out of stances again. Well, play me this. <clears throat> I am going to go with the crescendo and the consecrate. Hit you like that. If I come back out of this, you're going to be doing 14 damage. But I think for the sake of using a potion, I might as well bring consecrate back and just kill both of you. Ceramic, ceramic fish and cloak clasp. Very nice. Uh, gold card, gold card, already got one. Don't need any of those. Let's skip. Would I like any upgrades? I mean, we could upgrade Wallop, Tranquility. In fact, I want to upgrade... We don't need that. Uh, I want to upgrade Tantrum to attack one more time. If we get that turn one with Akabiko, definitely. And we're going towards the right anyway, so we can go this way now. I'd love to kill this dude turn one again, if possible. What are you giving me? Um, I'll take a cleave, actually. Time dilate. Time dilate. More dilation. Yes, please. Don't want study. Don't really want the evaluate either. Then I can wheel kick you. I'm going to play protect for time dilation. You with 14 health. Well, technically it's 25. I should be able to get a kill on you this turn. Flurry, weave, swivel, cut through fate, drop whatever, brings me weave back, which gets the kill. Beautiful. I'll take the fairy in a bottle for now. We've got all of the above cards, so I won't be taking that. Omamori? I mean, we've not got Duvu doll, so Omamori's decent. Can we down you turn one? Yeah, we can. Do I want to talk to the hand on you? I might actually ignore you for a little bit. <clears throat> Go talk to the hand. Fear no evil into empty fist. Cut through fate on you as well. Drop the weave. Drop the swivel as well, actually. That's a lot of damage. <clears throat> we basically killed you this turn. Signature move. Only attack we have got. It's a bit of an overkill, wouldn't you say? But I'm quite happy to use that, though. 13 damage. Okay, mm well, this isn't going to end well for you. I can tell you straight away. So I'm going to hit you, hit you, tranquility, and hit you. Then I'm going to tantrum and hit you. <laughs> Brilliant. Conclude could work out for us. And with time dilation, that's a massive AoE. It's rare that I take conclude, but... Yes. Yes. I don't think I want battle him this time. A duplication potion could be good. Anything we want to remove? Hmm. I mean, I'm kind of working the scry into there now, so... The mantra's not really helping, but the insights are, so I don't want to remove that either. I'll buy Toy Ornithopter. Why not? We've got the gold. We might as well use it, don't you attack? You attacked straight away yesterday, if I remember rightly. Right, let's get all the time dilating out there straight away. Uh, I would rather take you two out as quickly as possible. I'll take all of that for next turn, please. Oh, not quite. Got you. Huge signature move. Are you attacking? No. No. Drop this, drop this. Fear no evil is not going to be that great, so I'm going to drop you as well, because we not get the stance benefit out of it. Um, I can actually go crescendo straight away. Then I can hit you, hit you, hit you. You're going to die. Absolutely, you're going to die. Give me the cut through fate again, because then we could always get the weave back again. Bag of prep and sundial, both very nice. I am going to take a crush joints because um, vulnerability plus time dilation is just insane. And I think I'm going to get you upgraded straight away as well. Give me that vulnerability. A, f a random elite. Hello there. How are you today? Well, we've got the swivel and the wallop combo there. Um, I think we're going to go with you and you and... I am crescendoing, but we should be fine. 
Let's go with the swivel. Huge wallop. Hit you with one of them. I'll take talk to the hand when it comes through. And we can go back into calm stance. Wow. Over 100 damage that turn. Drop the study because we could actually take damage here at this rate. Uh, we're taking damage. Even if I threw the weakness potion at you. Oh, cloak clasp. I lost a perfect for no reason there. Silly, 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 silly. Start there. Hit you with one of them. Oh, that was dead upsetting. Empty mind, yes, please. More draw and stance altering. We like them um, attributes in a card. I am thinking now about getting Tranquility and Crescendo upgraded, just so I can pop off whenever I want, or unpop off, I guess. Alright, you're not attacking turn one. Beautiful. This is not the one that I thought it was, by the way. I thought it was the other one. Don't think we need the Duplication Potion yet, but I'm going to get the Dex Potion out there straight away. Just want to see if we can get a bit of draw out of this and see what we can get going. Wallop and Conclude's going to be loads of damage. I didn't really want to Flash of Steel here, but I'm going to. Wheel Kick. Can I get more Time Dilation out? Although with the cards that we've got... Oh, I can definitely hurt you even more now. That's 72 damage right there. And I've got a lot of my uh, calming cards on the way through. Drop the weave. You're doing 36 damage. I've not quite got talk to the hand out there yet. I think we should go with that straight away. I see the vulnerability. I'm aware of the vulnerability. You know what? Let's go with the vulnerability. Empty body axe. Then we can crush joints and cut through fate. Drop the third eye, because I can at least use the Consecrate this turn. And then you're going to look to roll this... Well, not roll. You know what I mean. Uh, well, now I want to keep all of them, really. Yes. Oh, I played that in the wrong order. I'll keep the Prostrate. Should have played the Weave before this. Your more damage. Tranquility. Hit you again. So you are going to get rid of my talk to the hand buff. So I might be taking damage here. Oh, Tantrum's not a good card for this turn really, is it? Drop and drop. So then I can go... Yup. Yup. I'm thinking about time dilation. <clears throat> Don't draw any more attacks, please. Or any that cost anything. Right, play this, play this. Fear no evil there. Cut through fate, drop the prey, give me the talk to the hand. We get weave again. We can tantrum. Will you do enough damage? You've not got time dilation anymore. Pendip! <laughs> Don't look, we can't get Ragnarok. <clears throat> I actually like the potions I've got already. Sozu might be quite cool. It's normally the better option. But we have got a lot of calming cards. Well, no, we've not. We've got Tranquility and we've got uh, Fear No Evil. No, I think we're going Sozu. <clears throat> we've got decent potions. Dono and Decker, I guess we've not quite got de decent potions with the weakness potion there, but never mind. How many question marks have we got up the right-hand side? A few. A few. We could actually force ourselves into a shop with the 300-ish gold we'll have by that point. We might even be able to buy something. Conclude's going to be strong here. I can tell you that much, but do we want to conclude the entire turn... I think we do want to conclude the entire turn. <clears throat> 37 damage to all of them is rather nice. And only one of you is blocking, so I'm hoping... Oh, never mind. I was going to say I'm hoping only one of you is attacking. What are we up to now? 11 damage. You're doing the most, so you can get hit. 
That kills you off. I can hit you with the crush joints. It's a shame that we got signature move there, but we're only one energy away from it, and we just had Nunchaku. Hand of Greed. Very nice. <clears throat> I'll take free gold. Excuse me. Bow dwell for us, doesn't it? Don't need any of those. Thank you. I don't want to use the potion. Take the gold. Dream catcher. I regret everything. If we could fly, we could get to a couple more elites, couldn't we? One. Oh, I'd better get an extra elite. But then I could always jump to a shop. Do we want the boots, though? Really? Well, I might as well take the boots. Ah, I couldn't afford Regal Pillow. I was going to say, and the Regal Pillow as well. <clears throat> Never mind. Never mind. Tantrum's a nice place to start. <clears throat> I think I'm just going to use it on you. Go like that. Evaluate third eye. Hopefully we see the scry. Never mind. I can come in with the empty mind and get the feel and the uh, flurry of blows back. Let's go crescendo again and flurry of blows actually concludes going to wreck you. Might as well foresight and then oh my god we killed everything. Bag of marble, marbles. Bag of marbles and calipers are both brilliant. Follow up actually works very well for this. Two, three. Could be my jumps. Yeah. I was hoping you'd give me another elite there. Never mind. Give me discovery. If we get a chance to upgrade that, um, it's just going to be free time dilation. Talk to the hand, huh? We've got a lot to work with right here. Uh, give me the prey. I will get talk to the hand out there straight away. Fear no evil. Follow up. Empty fist. Cut through fate. I'm going to drop... Yeah, because Empty Mind's going to draw me two cards anyway. Fair enough. Give me the Swivel ready for next turn, although we can't really attack next turn. Neither can he, apparently. I am going to keep beating on you, then. Gives me a Tantrum. Love it. Drop the Weave and give it me back. I'm actually going to stay in Wrath form now that we got the Pendant, because I've got um, some fairly big cards on the horizons. There you go. That is one of them. Oddly Smooth Stone and Centennial Puzzle. I don't really want Bowling Bash. It's not my biggest... Um, well, I'm not the biggest fan of Bowling Bash. I was going to say it's not the biggest fan of me. But I'm not even sure that it'd be aware of my existence, to be honest. Uh, let's hit you with the Crush Joints. Go like that, go like that. I probably should have empty bodied a little bit earlier than that for more time dilation, but never mind. We should really be used to it by this point, and yet I'm still not. Hmm. Let's go crescendo. Weave. Cut through fate. Give me the tantrum. Well, I actually might as well time dilation the tantrum. And then we can fear no evil back out of that stance. Happy days. Um, I'm going to keep the conclude, because I... Yeah, you're not attacking this turn. Time dilation first. Give me the wheel kicks. So that's going to be free. Uh, you're 40 damage. You're 54 damage. You're 32 damage. Yeah, let's start there. Another wheel kick. Brilliant. I can actually swivel wheel kick... Flurry of Blows, Consecrate, Wallop, Conclude. One of them's going to kill you. War Paint, just one minute. I am going to take the Mental Fortress. War Paint, bleh, War Paint hits Evaluate and whatever. White Beast Statue actually does nothing for us whatsoever. You on your own should be fine. I'm probably just going to lunge straight into you with a Wheel Kick. Just give me a second to play all these cards. And Wheel Kick. Uh, foresight, we've... Oh, I don't really want... No, we don't have to just look in. <clears throat> Although, with where your health was, we could have done anything. 
Uh, I'm not going to take the flying sleeves because I think we've basically got the deck we want. Whetstone hits Fear No Evil and follow up. Happy days. We've got Nemesis again. Come on, big turn one. Big turn one. Go with the empty mind. Go with the prey. Go with the empty body. Go with the prostrate. Discovery. Gives me a talk to the hand. Oh my days. <laughs> Strike dummy does, dummy does nothing. That was dead difficult to say. Wave of the hand. I've not actually taken one of them yet, have I? And yet I wanted one of those from the very start. Oh, I was hoping you... Hello. A skewer could do some serious damage there. But it is energy based. Now, let's go with the riddle with holes. Because I can time dilate, time dilate, time dilate, time dilate. And then I can hit you with that. It's just a shame I can't get into wrath before I do, do this. Never mind. Oh my god. He got annihilated. Uh, no, thank you. Don't need any of those. Question mark. Give me more elites. I'll take a strawberry. Still no elite. Mm, time dilation, time dilation, time dilation, and time dilation, time dilation. Mind Blast isn't going to be mega. Sword Boomerang will be them. Oh my god. Yeah, I'll take that for next turn. Oh, Pennib. Entropic Brew would have been so nice. Question mark. Yours, we got another Elite out of it. Hopefully we can get another Perfect then. Um, we'll start there. Yup, yup, yup. Yup, we get so much energy at the start of these fights. Give me the wheel kick so I can keep going here. Get the study. Oh, I can't signature move. I'll take foreign influence next turn. Yes, please. I got one energy back. Thanks, Nunchaku, for the thought, but it didn't really work out for me. Um, get all this time dilation going. I'll take the immolate. Thank you. Um, might as well go Empty Fist first into the follow-up. Then I can Tranquility again. I should have tranquility before that. Never mind. We don't seem to be hitting you quite as hard this time. Is it because I'm not in Wrath Form? Well, there's Wrath Form. There's also more Wrath Form. Drop the Wave of the Hand. Mm, I think we're going to hit you with that... Talk to the hand first, you idiot. Give me the insight. Because we can go with more time dilation. Yes, please. Hit you with that one. Hit you with that one. We've got loads of block. That's why I don't mind being in wrath form. Um, I'll take all of those because I can insight and crush joint straight away. I just don't want to shuffle this at the minute. We can get more time dilation. Beautiful. Uh, go with the weave. I think we're going to be fine here. Yeah, loads of damage. Unceasing top is dead nice. And all them strength potions we've gone past is dead unfortunate because I'd have loved any of them. Absolutely any of them. Discovery not exhausting. I'm not that fussed about it. Let's upgrade the wallop. Being as though it does actually give me block. We're on point for uh, Beyond Perfect. Depending on this fight and how it goes, that's a nice start. And you're giving me a talk to the hand. Even better. We've got no time dilation, though. That's what I need to remember with this. I think, unfortunately, I'm going to have to start off with the Flurry of Blows. I'm actually going to Duplication Potion on you. Then I'm going to Crescendo. Hit ya, hit ya. I did that all in the wrong order, but there is no time dilation, so did I really do it all in the wrong order? I don't actually need to use Tranquility yet, <clears throat> so I'm not going to. Hmm. Mental Fortress. Cut through Fate. I'll take the Tantrum. So I can go Tranquility. Hit you again. Wrath Form back out of that. Really, I'd like to conclude with this. 
but that's still a decent turn. Unceasing top, unfortunate there, but never mind. Wave the hand. Empty body. Let me out of this form. I completely forgot that we also got... Um, <clears throat> what's it called? Calipers. That's kind of nice. Although me staying in wrath form to let him hit me is not all that nice there. Uh, time dilation, talk to the hand, empty fist our way out, although I should really have wheel kicked first there. We've got a pen nib. I could always weaken you, but you did just receive eight turns of weakness, so um, maybe not. I've got some attacks this way. Maybe the signature move would be nice to get. I could even take fasting at this point. That's what I was after. Oh, you're so dead, dude. So dead. This feels like a good one. I'll take the tantrum. Bye. Oh, come on. I've got my pen and everything. Um, what's that then? Win number six is the Watcher. That felt like a good one. 1550. Did we tie with Rhapsody? We got Light Speed, we got Highlander, we got I Like Shiny, we got Pauper, we got 10 Perfect Champions, add to 11. No! <laughs> we got Beyond Perfect and we got Overkill. I beat Rhapsody. Rhapsody got 1520. We are front page and we are tied for 16th. With 8 hours 36 remaining, we'll call that 8.5 hours. Oh, burst. So, you clearly got one more Elite Perfect than me. That would have taken you to 15.75. You got like 19 points more than that. God knows how you got so much higher. I say so much higher, it's a 44 point difference, but I can... Did I work that out wrong then? Yeah, I must have worked that out wrong. 19, 25, no, I didn't wear that out wrong. I don't know what I'm on about, ignore me. Um, yeah, that was still quite good though. Front page, yours. Anyway, yesterday we had another fairly good daily, and again, we were the watcher. Came in 52nd with 17 hours remaining, and where did we fall to? Oh, 116th. We lost 64 places. Oh, I'm fairly sure I remember Burst being above us, and we actually got beat by Depression this time. Damn it, Rhapsody beat me as well. Obviously, Burst is going to be up here somewhere. Where did you end up, Burst? Come on. Right there, 24th. None of us made front page yesterday. That's a first, isn't it? Normally, Burst's always up here. Well... We've had a few good dailies in a row. Don't want to jinx it, but tomorrow will be seven wins in a row if I can get it. And it's the first day of my four days off. And you cannot imagine how uh, excited I am to not be at work for four days with uh, how people have been acting recently. But I'm not going to go into a rant again. That is going to be it for today's episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see some more or comments and feedback. Greatly appreciated as always. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Cheers!